Night Lights is brought to you by Don Ringler Toyota, Don Ringler Chevrolet, and Baylor Scott and White Health. Welcome to week four of Friday Night Lights. Nick Kim is also alongside Curtis Quill. You know, a lot of teams are wrapping up non-district play tonight, but for others, it's their second week in league play. District 12, 6A, rocking and rolling. It's week two in there. With it being a 19 district, every week is a huge game. Yeah, no doubt about that, Curtis. Let's go ahead and take you out to our game of the week. Two and one Coppers Coach going off against one and two Colleen Bulldogs. We're coming off a tough loss to Belton last week. This one was close as Colleen led 20 to 14 at the break. Ruse breaking open the third. James Terry under pressure. Rolls to his right and finds Nate Camper. Turns up the field. He's in for the touchdown. Colleen on top 28 14. Still in the third. Kadarius Marshall gets the handoff. Breaks a few tackles. Going to turn on the Jets. And nobody is going to catch him. Ruse would extend the lead at that point. And then last play of the third quarter, Easton Simpson. He is sacked. What a monster sack right what there by the Ruse defense. Patty Tundilly grabs the football, flips it ahead to Demaria Brown, takes it in for the defensive touchdown, 41-14 at that point. And how about this, Colleen? They go on to win 48-14. Wow. What a Jessica win. Jessica Mori, I tell you what. She's had a front row seat all night at this game. She joins us live with Colleen with that big old win for the Ruse. Jess? Thanks, guys. Well, I've got quite the crowd here for our game of the week. And we've got a game of the week champion, and it is the Colleen Ruse. They get our trophy. Here you go. Yeah! Let me tell you, these guys are so excited to get this trophy. I brought it down for I brought it down to the field with about five minutes left in the fourth quarter and they were so excited. We had trainers, cheerleaders, everyone tried to take pictures with it, so they're super excited to win this game. I've got clean head coach Neil Searcy with me, coach. You guys it was a close game at half and then you yeah. guys busted it open the third quarter. What did you tell your guys at half? Well, I just told them we gotta settle down and stop making mistakes and come out and play the second half like you know, like we know we can and, and you know, I'm so proud of my guys the way they stepped up, they answered the bell the second half and came out and played lights out all over the field. So it was a great win for us tonight. How big is that for you guys to get this district win? It was huge. We have to, you know, you, we, no one wanted to fall 0-2 in this district. You know, we're 1-1, one and, one and, and we're getting ready for the next one. We're going to enjoy this one, but we're going to get ready for Harker Heights next week. And, you know, uh, this is not the end goal. You know, we're trying to get to that third season in the playoffs, and, and we took a step towards that tonight, and hopefully we can take one next week. Awesome. And we've got Kadarius Marshall here. Kadarius, uh, just how excited are you for this win right now? Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, I just had, my old line just had faith in me when I got the ball, and I just trusted them to, that they were going to block and open up the hole for me. Awesome. Well, congratulations on the win. 48 14. Yeah. 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 against the game of the week. I mean, I don't know. Bye, guys. See you guys later. <laughs> Is Jessica in there anywhere? I absolutely love it. Give it, give it love to the O line. It all starts up front. Congratulations to those Colleen Roos. You know, we had another big 12 6A clash up in Hewitt tonight. Midway Panthers welcome the Ellison Eagles to town. Both the Eagles and Panthers coming into the game with a 1 0 record in district, second quarter now. And Nick Jimenez in for Midway. He's going to roll to his left. He fires, finding Deontay Thomas. Thomas turns and burns up the sideline. He's up 25 yards. That is a Panther first down later in the drive. Handoff to James Fulbright. Finds a hole, takes off, and mama there goes that man. 30 yards to the house. It's 13 nothing, but. Chase Wetzel keeps it, powers into the end zone. That's the two-point conversion. It's 15-0 at that point. Final Ooh. score. Ooh, what a win for Midway. 56-27 the final. Belton battling Harker Heights at Leo Buckley Stadium. Knights looking for their first district win, while the Tigers looking to improve to 2-0. Belton would strike first. Dean Buck Monville gets a handoff. He's in for the touchdown. 7-0 Belton. Harker Heights on offense. Sean West under pressure on the move. And guess what? He is going to be picked off by Jason Stevens. He's going to take it all the way to the end zone. Pick six, hurdling the guy right there. Wow. Might have hurdled his own guy. 14 nothing. We're still in the first. Marquise Aguilar gets the handoff right up the gut. You could have drove a bulldozer right there. 20 to nothing at that point. Belton right now, late fourth quarter, leading 48-14. 
Last night, number 16, Temple in Colleen taking on Shoemaker. Wildcats off to their first 3-0 start since 2003. Shoemaker trying to snap a 23-game losing streak, though. Temple on the board first, though. Jared Wiley finds Quentin Johnston, who hustles his way into the end zone. Johnston just picked up an offer from Duke, so he's fired up. Temple leads by seven. Still in the first, Dijon Overton gets the handoff, busts up the middle. He's in for six. It's 14-0 Cats. To the second, Wiley is going to roll to his left, to his left. Check out this catch by tight end Isaiah oh, Robledo. One-handed pulls it in. That's another Wildcat TD. It's 21 zip at that point. Temple's 4-0. They're 2-0 in district. 42-6 the final. That's the 24th straight loss for Shoe. Wow. Over in 5A where University taking on Cleburne Trojans. They get crushed tonight 47-3. They fall to 1-3 on the season. All right. First quarter Friday Night Lights is officially in the books. We got plenty more ahead, four A's after the break. Don't touch that remote.